Let's start with Calendar app. Calendar's a pretty simple concept, right? We even have a calendar view built into Core Smartsheet. When we start talking about the calendar app that sits on top of Smartsheet, what we're gonna get is a more detailed, more real-time, interactive, customizable, and shareable calendar with multiple views. Uh, so think about having different view options for different people. Think about uh, having filter functionality where you've got multiple types of work items on the same calendar and you only wanna see one type of work item there. You can add items to that calendar directly from calendar view, or you can also do it from your sheet. And if you're adding items to your calendar from your sheet, that means forms work. So think about a scenario where your constituents, your users come to a form and tell you, I'm requesting off time for this portion, or I'll be working on this project, or working remotely for this amount of time. So it really helps you collect and visualize that data in a couple different ways. It also makes it really easy to share and print calendars, which some of you folks are kind of like, why would I ever want to print a calendar? Some of you folks are like, nope, I work with that one person that wants everything printed. This is a great way to give them a calendar view of everything that's going on, printed on paper. Uh, so with that, I'm actually gonna back it up because we're not talking about Pivot yet. I'm gonna introduce Rajiv, and Rajiv is gonna talk to you a little bit. Uh, he's actually gonna show you Calendar App. So if we can transfer over to the demo machine, please. Thanks, Brian. Thank you. Okay, so the Calendar App is, is great if you wanna actually visualize it, which is predominantly what it does, right? It gets you a prettier way to visualize the calendar, it gets you much more functionality and a lot more color variation, so you can make it look and feel and fit your brand that you're trying to project. Because ultimately, calendars, especially in marketing orgs, they need to match exactly what the brand identity is and every color has meaning. And so that's, that's largely the intent with which we created it. But one of the other use cases that you also get with the calendar app is the ability for you to use calendar as a, as a way for you to engage and bring more people into your process and have them participate in it just by staying within the context of the app. So we'll talk a little bit about both of those. Um, so today I'm gonna talk a little bit about the multiple views, how you can customize some of these options and show you a little bit of how that works and then talk about the collaboration aspect. Uh, it's hard to experience it unless you actually have 20 people showing you the 20 different views, but I'll try my best to show you what that looks like. Um, so I'm gonna start with the, with the basic view, right? Here's a, this is not the one I wanna start with. Okay, so this is just a simple view, right? All I have here is a, a smart sheet, and maybe I should show you what the sheet looks like so you kind of have a little bit of perspective for what I'm actually taking and projecting up. So this is, the, this is the sheet that we actually have. Traditional sheet has a bunch of rows, bunch of columns. You can actually go look at this in our, in our calendar view in the app and you'll get a, you get a view today. So we can take the same view and actually show it to you in a much more interesting way. And one of the first things that you would notice is the calendar app allows you to actually have a lot more data density. Right? We allow you to bring in a lot more columns, con like symbols and other things into the context so you can actually see them in. We also give you the ability to customize some of the look and feel. So I'm now in a month view and I have a thicker header, I have this segmented slightly differently, and I can switch views fairly easily and go back to a week view or a quarter view, multi-month view. So we have a bunch of different ways that you can actually like start to think about how you want to visualize the actual data that exists, right? I can look at just one month at a time if I wanted to, so I can get like a lot more density in the data that I'm actually seeing in a very narrow time frame, or I can go really broad and really wide and look at it as, show me over the next two years all the stuff that's actually happening. You have to be a little careful on like, the amount of data density that you actually put in a two year roadmap versus like a, what's happening in this month. The advantage that you also have is each of these are different views. I just switched between two different views that exist on the same sheet. You can build these against sheets, you can build them against reports. The app is really flexible from that perspective. Um, here's a different view of the data, and this is actually a 
resource management view on the same campaign sheet. So what I've done is I've taken the data and pivoted based on who is actually working on the items. And now I'm looking at items on that are assigned to them by category. So I have a two-layer view so to say, like, hey, Daniel is working on two types of campaigns. I have an awareness stream of campaigns, and I have a revenue growth stream of campaigns. And he's got a few different things across this in the next four weeks. And so now I can actually start to see by resource what people are working on. And these are all easy things for us to be able to go configure because you're actually just manipulating data a little bit on how you want to show it. So I'm going to go into one of these and show you how to go configure them. So let's pick this one. It really doesn't matter because they're all built off the same sheet, so I could have done this on any of them. But I want to show you a couple of different options that we have actually enabled over here, right? So it takes you through, a, you can be on the basic view, which in which case this is all you will see. Select your sheet, pick your columns. If you want to pick your own colors, you can, and then you're done. If you go into the advanced view, it will actually open up a bunch more. So let me give you a quick orientation to how this app is laid out and the configuration options you have, and then I'm going to highlight a couple of specific ones. So here you can basically go pick a task name. This is the name that will show up on the top. This is the one that will actually allow you to customize whether you want it bold, whether you want it inside a color band, outside a color band, and all of those functionalities like tied to this one element. I can go pick any column I want to be that column. Right. Uh, then I have a bunch of other options. Right. Some of these have meaning, and some of them don't quite really have meaning. They're just like cues for you to make it really easy for you to know what to go put in. The, the, the only two things we really need is a name for the event and a start date. If you happen to have an end date, great, you can actually use that. If you happen to have a symbol you want to show on the card itself, you can actually do that right here. And you can also control whether you want to show them or not. The category and the subcategory are interesting in the context of as you switch over to week view, multi-month view, quarter view, it'll give you the ability to say, hey, I actually can now start showing categories as a distinct element in my, in my view, and I can use them in my filters and how I actually navigate and a bunch of other capability that just gets opened up because I actually can now segment my data that way. It will also make your layouts a lot cleaner for you to start spotting, are we actually talking to the same audience over and over again within the same time period? Because if my first column happened to be audience, then I can see all the campaigns that are going against that particular audience, and it becomes a really easy way to actually go look at that. When you're going to go pick color here, you can provide your own hex color. You can pick from the wheel pretty much any color you can imagine. Like, so there is no, like, you're not restricted to a color wheel and 16 colors, so you can, you can pick the colors that you want. Uh, you can have additional columns, and so there's, a, there's an interesting aspect to calendar where it's not only just a view, like I said, you can actually participate, you can make updates through this app, which means you can actually start surfacing within the details panel a whole lot more data if you wanted to. And so you can start to show like, hey, I have category two over here, and I'm going to start to show, it looks like I ran out of columns over here, so let's assume I'm going to show a subcategory here, I'm going to take it out of the previous one. Right. So I'm going to show a subcategory. It'll only show up. It's not going to be a displayed object. It's just going to show up in the, in the details panel when I open it up. I can also sort, custom sort my cards. Right. So in a particular calendar, like when I'm looking at it as events and I want to actually know what the highest revenue impacting one is and I have a column for it, I can actually say sort by that column first. In this case, I'm sorting by status. So all the greens will show up together, and all the reds will show up together, and all the yellows will show up together, and it makes it really easy for you to spot them in your, in your calendar. Um, you can add filter columns. Uh, I won't spend a bunch of time talking about it. It works like any filters. But what you're doing is you're actually taking your sheet that's, let's say, 80 columns wide, and you can actually specify what columns you want to surface within this view. So making it also easy for you to say, OK, and I also let you filter based on these columns. It's kind of what the intent of that one is. Um, there's a few different options available from when you think about date and time design, right? So I can decide to go hide the date from the de details view. I can show you that date formatted in a bunch of different ways that make sense. So I can say, like, hey, I want to show MMDD, DD, MMM, so date and 
long form month as the thing that shows up in my tile view because that makes it really clear on whether it is Feb 1 or Jan 2nd and you don't have to worry about which one are you actually seeing when you actually print it out. You have a few different options to play with colors and formats. You can actually play with the number of periods you're going to show in a five week, like uh, in the in all the other views that are other than the month view, you can actually like, control the amount of density of the view. So I'm going to move that to six. You can also say I want to color stuff based on the column. So I can categorize, I can color my categories, I can color my columns or my actual items, the tiles that you're seeing that are your event tiles in an entirely different color based on conditions. And the way you just pick a condition is say I want based on this, I'm going to make reds really red. Right? Apparently I don't know how to pick a red. Okay, there we go. We support fiscal months, so you can actually say my fiscal year starts on Feb. All your calendars and your fiscal calculations will actually move over. Your week number calculations will move over. And so you will now actually be fully compliant with like how your fiscal calendars work if you want to be based on fiscal calendars versus calendar year calendars. Um, and so there's, there's a bunch of different options over here. You can customize logos, add comments, all that good stuff. So I'm going to give it a second. It's going, to, it's going to go update it. And then when the view comes back, I want to show you a couple of how you can actually go edit some of these views. Right? Okay, I'm doing a quick time check to make sure I'm not way over. So the first thing you notice is like, hey, items that are red turned out into be red. So I actually was fairly easily able to go customize how the look and feel works. I can go decide the amount of data density that I want to be able to put in here. If I go and update this and say like, hey, this is actually going to be green, it should update it, the color should change, it should be fairly instant in terms of how that worked. Right? And that data is still in your sheet. You can still run a bunch of, bunch of things in your sheet. You can still have automation rules. You can still write formulas. You can do all of the power that exists in your sheet. And this is a additive layer that sits on top of it. And you can also share these views independently. So you do not have to share your underlying sheet to give someone access to be able to look at a calendar. If you do that, you want, they won't be able to edit the items in it, but they'll be able to see the items and they'll be able to participate in your process. And you can also use the same way to say like, I'm gonna share it to you and you can only edit these particular things and you can actually start to control a little bit of that flow also through this app. One of the big things that we actually released in the last few months is the ability for you to download these views. Print is, a, print is a really big thing for a lot of people when you actually deal with calendars and a lot of density in calendars. We have a bunch of different options that you can actually select from. So I can select paper sizes. One of the things you could do is fit zoom. And right in here, I can say, I know there's a lot of data in here. I don't want to actually display it. I just want to display the title. I'm going to make this really compact, and I can pick from a different set of templates. Okay. And I click download, it's going to spin for a little bit, and then it's actually going to give you a PDF. And now you can send that PDF out to someone. You can print that PDF, like, and we know we have customers who print that PDF like in a really big paper and stick it all over their offices, because that's how they work. And that's, this is designed to help you manage your process in exactly the way you want it and allow you to customize those options. So it, it renders in a way that you're really proud of in terms of what, what the results are. 